Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile you and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and exceedingly and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if it salt loses its flavor, who, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. And glory be to God for him, and may your saying be concluded in peace. In the sixth day, in the sixth hour, nailed to the cross for the sin of our father Adam, dared to meet him in paradise, destroy the hand and record of our sins of Christ your God, and deliver us. Let my supplication draw near before me, O Lord, give me understanding according to your wisdom, and my petition reach your presence. <coughs> In the evening, in the morning, and at midday, I say my words, and he hears my voice and delivers my soul in peace. Jesus Christ, your God, who is nailed to the cross in the sixth hour, killed sin by the tree, by your death, O Lord, brought life to the dead man, whom you created with your own hands, who had died in sin, put to death our pains by your life, giving and healing, patch for the nails with which we were nailed. Rescue our minds from the thought and the sins of the deeds and worldly lust, and turn our thoughts to the remembrance of heavenly commandments, according to your great compassion. Since we have no favor nor excuse nor justification because of our many sins, we entreat you, O Virgin, that Theodokos, to intercede with him who is born of you, for plentiful, strong, and able to intercess with our Savior. Pure Mother, do not reject us sinners in intercession with him whom you bore for his merciful and able to save us because he suffered for us to deliver us. Let your tender mercies reach us quickly, for we're exceedingly humbled. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of your glorious name. Lord, deliver us and forgive us our sins for the sake of your holy name. Your salvation and the midst of all, uh, all the earth, O Christ our God, as you stretch your holy hands on the cross, therefore all nations cry out, saying, Glory to you, O Lord. صالح تربير مغفرة خطيئة المسيح لنا لن بمشي لك سرطة تصاد الله صليب لتنك الذين خلقت من عبادة تراد لهم نصر وخليك ونشكرك لأنك ملأت الكل فرحنا يا المخلص لم أتيت لي يا عالم يا رب المجدلاك You are she who is full of grace with you took us the version we praise you for through your the cross of your son he this head fell down and death was abolished we were dead, but we are raised and became worthy of eternal life and gained the delight of the first paradise. Therefore, we thankfully glorify the immortal Christ, our God. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, Creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, and became man, and he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead according to the scriptures. Ascended into the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead. So this kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, hear us and have mercy and us, forgive us our sins. Amen. Kiri <laughs> <laughs> 
Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, peace and edification of the one only holy Catholic and Apostolic Church of God. Amen. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought unto you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who have brought them, Lord,
Maren, che ve moden to fer ve thane fonai tu not viotem men choi so ve not ven so tiri so spia Christo, che vrix e pozi ne gon faroi tener un farierun. Au shop tener fakti a soeron a ti to tene ven den chari, ya tai un o tha in to fon maren tiro fobos en te farierun. Chemba en quetho en fanim niu tirun te venon. Enerin in even rebi bandon crato, o im shoin spinoti. O se vexaste. Kyrie eleison. Mestre norgado bandon crato, ta father var norgado in sevia, Jesus Christ. We thank you for everything, concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself, spared us, supported us, and brought us to this heaven. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us. Hear us, help us, and accept the suffocation and prayer of the saints, for that which is going to be at all times, and make us worthy and to partake. keep the life and standing of our Holy Father, our priest, Pope Baba Tardus, the Sad, and his partner in the Apostolic Liturgy, our Father, the Metropolitan, Abba Serapion, and make us worthy. Forgive us, Father, keep us, make us worthy. Make us worthy to partake. Lord of mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear. All in me, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel, wicked men, the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest. Take them away from us, from all your people, from this holy table, from this holy church, from this your holy place. Neither at none of them near to the psalm, or one chin to come and talk to mercy, she no no measure, no to me at Chedi. Nemesenticum tears and Father, the priest, that he can to the clergy and the people, my weak self, be absolved from mouth, all the the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, mouth, one, holy, holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, mouth, apostles, the elder of God, St. Mark, the evangelist, the apostle, martyr, the patriarch, St. Severus, our teacher, Dioscora, St. Athanasius, the apostolic, St. Peter, the holy martyr, and archpriest, St. John Chrysostom, St. Cyril, St. Basil, and St. Gregory, the mouth, 318, assembled at Nicaea, the 150, Constantinople, 200, at Ephesus, the mouth of our honored father, the archpriest, Pope Abba Tuadris II, and his partner, the liturgy of Father, the Metropolitan of Asrapin, mouth my object self for a blessed and full of glorious holy name of Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the age holy. Oh. 
Jesus Christ called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God, a chapter from the second epistle of our teacher, St. Paul to the Corinthians. May his blessings be upon us all. Amen. I say again, let no one think me a fool, if otherwise at least receive me as a fool, that I also may boast a little. What I speak, I speak not according to the Lord, but as it were foolishly. In this confidence of boasting, Seeing that many boast according to the flesh, I will also boast. For you put up with fools gladly, since you yourselves are wise. For you put up with it if one brings you into bondage, if one devours you, if one takes from you, if one exalts himself, if one strikes you on the face. To our shame I say that we were too weak for that. But in whatever anyone is bold, I speak foolishly. I am bold also. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? Are they of the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more. In labors more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequently, in deaths often. From the Jews five times I receive 40 stripes minus one. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Three times I was shipwrecked. A night and a day I have been in the deep. In journeys often, in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils of my own countrymen, in perils of the Gentiles, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, 
in weariness and toil, in sleeplessness often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness. Besides the other things, what comes upon me daily, my deep concern for all the churches, who is weak and I am not weak, who is made to stumble and I do not burn with indignation. If I must boast, I will boast in the things which concern my infirmity, the God, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is blessed forever, knows that I am not lying. In Damascus, the governor under Aretas, the king, was guarding the city of the, the, of the Damascans with a garrison, desiring to apprehend me. But I was let down in a basket through a window in the wall and escaped from his hands. It is doubtless not profitable for me to boast I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago, whether in the body I do not know or whether out of the body I do not know, God knows. Such a, uh, such a one was caught up to the third heaven, and I know such a man. Whether in the body or out of the body I do not know, God knows. How he was caught up into paradise and heard inexpressible words which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Of such a one I will boast, yet of myself I will not boast, except in my infirmities. For though I might desire to boast, I will not be a fool, for I will speak the truth. But I forbear, lest anyone should drink of me, excuse me, let anyone should think of me above what he sees to me, sees me to be or hears from me, and lest I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelations, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I be exalted above measure. Concerning this thing, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. I have become a fool in boasting. You have compelled me, for I ought to have been commended by you. For in nothing, I was, for in nothing was I behind the most eminent apostles, though I am nothing. Truly the signs of an apostle were accomplished among you with all perseverance in signs and wonders and mighty deeds. The grace of God the Father be with us all. Amen.
Catholic epistle from the first epistle of our teacher, St. Peter, his blessing be with us all, amen, my beloved. Now this is the word which by the gospel was preached to you. Therefore, laying aside all malice, all guile, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking, as newborn babes desire the pure milk of the word, that you may grow thereby, if indeed you have tested that the Lord is gracious. Coming to him as to a living stone, rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious, you also as living stones are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Therefore, it is also contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he who believes on him will by no means be put to shame. Therefore, to you who believe, he is precious, but to those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. They stumble, being disobedient to the word, to which they were, all, to which they also were appointed. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light who once were not a people, but are now the people of God, who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Do not love the world, nor the things which are in the world. The world shall pass away, and all desires, but he who does the will of God shall abide forever. Amen. <laughs> of our Father, the pure apostles who were invested with the grace of the Holy Spirit, may their blessing be with us all. Amen. Now in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplying, there arose a complaint against the Hebrews by the Hellenists, because their, widow, their widows were neglected in the daily distribution. Then the twelve summoned the multitude of the disciples and said, It is not desirable that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Therefore, brethren, seek out from among you seven men of good reputation, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And the saying pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith, and the Holy Spirit, and Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte from Antioch, whom they set before the apostles. And when they had prayed, they laid hands on them. Then the word of God spread, and the number of the disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem. And great many of the priests were obedient to the faith. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. 
Then there arose some from what is called the synagogue of the freedmen, disputing with Stephen. And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spoke. Then they secretly induced men to say, we have heard him speak blasphemous word, uh, words against Moses and God. And they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes, and they came upon him, seized him, and brought him to the council. They also set up false witnesses who said, This man does not cease to speak blasphemous word against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and change the customs of which Moses delivered to us. And all who sat in the council looking steadfastly at him saw his face as the face of an angel. Then the high priest said, Are these things so? And he said, Brethren and fathers, listen. The God of glory appeared to our father Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia before he dwelt in Haran. The word of the, world, the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed to the Holy Church of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and God, amen. Today is the 25th day of the blessed month of Ba'una. May the Lord end it for us in goodness, renew for us in peace and tranquility. While our sins, our iniquities are forgiven, the tender mercies of our Lord, my Father, my brethren, amen. On this day in the year 285 of the martyrs, the Holy Father, Pope Peter IV, the 34th Patriarch of Alexandria, departed. His predecessor, Pope Theodosius, was exiled by the order of Emperor Justinian II and appointed an alternative bishop called Apollinaris, but when the Coptic people refused him. When Pope Theodosius departed in exile, Apollinaris re rejoiced, for he thought that he would preside over the Coptic Church. God, the lover of mankind, and the Church arranged for the ruler of Alexander to be an honorable and forthright man. He advised the bishops and lay leaders to go to the monastery of El Zogag, and as if they were going to pray there, then they could consecrate the patriarch of their choice. They rejoiced at this council. They took Abba Peter to the monastery of El Zogag, where they consecrated him patriarch on the first day of Misra, in the year 282 of the martyrs. However, he could not enter the city of Alexandria if the emperor prevented him. <clears throat> the pope remained moving from monastery to monastery, caring for his flock by pastoral epistles. When the people of Antioch heard that the Egyptians had ordained for themselves a patriarch, they also ordained for themselves a patriarch, and they called him Theophanius and was consecrated in Ammonius Monastery, for the heretics interfered and prevented them. He and Pope Peter exchanged letters concerning the Orthodox faith, and when the alien patriarch died, Pope Peter was able to go on a pastoral visit in the entire Nile Valley, confirming the people in the Orthodox faith and com comforting them in their hardships. When Pope Peter fulfilled his good endeavor, departed in peace after being on the apostolic throne for less than two years. May the blessing of his prayers be with us all, and glory be to God forever. Amen. Agios o Deos, Agios Esperos, Agios Athanatos, Et Parteno Genetis Eneis Onimes, Agios o Deos, Agios Esperos, Agios Athanatos, Stavrotis Dimes Eneis Here in a palace, it of Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who set his sin under the disciples and holy apostles. Many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you have not seen them. And to hear the things which hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes for the see and ears for the hear. May we be worthy to hear and tact according to your holy gospels through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy gospel. Lord of mercy. Remember also, our Master, all those who have been asked to remember them in our supplications and prayers which we offer up unto Lord our God. 
Those have already falsely proposed them. Those are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. The Psalm of David, Alleluia. For you have prevented him with blessings of goodness. You have set upon his head a crown of precious soul. Oh, 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 his glory is great in your salvation. You will crown him with glory and majesty, alleluia. Baruch has finetically sent a O Maru es moer of hier cathedra and tenebres vitin. Eros, jail con omitio teme fritin on his soul. Ethan of ingeni et sultono eveo. O Nof, all for King James, choice on the four men. Ethim, gentle before him shining. Got on taxis and melchies. Edic, choice on we name and mock penyoted for webbing patriarch sheets. Baba, what our address be mine. Es nav nempenjotin metropolitis avasera apion nempenjotin ebeskovus avakirin elo choice feare betenon After these things the Lord appointed seventy others also and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place where he himself was about to go. Then he said to them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray, the Lord of the harvest, to send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way, behold, I send you out as lambs among wolves. Carry neither ba money bag sack nor sandals, and greet no one along the road. But whatever house you enter, first say peace to this house. And if a son of peace is there, your peace will rest on it. If not, it will return to you. And remain in the same house, eating and drinking such things as they give. For the laborer is worthy of his wages. Do not go from house to house. Whatever city you enter, and they receive you. Eat such things as are sent before you. And heal the sick who are there and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But whatever city you enter and they do not receive you, go out into its streets and say, The very dust of your city which clings to us, we wipe off against you. Nevertheless, know this, that the kingdom of God has come near you. But I say to you that it will be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than for that city. Woe to you, Chorazin, woe to you, Bethsaida, for if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in time sad, and that would have repented a great while ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. 
and you, Capernaum, who are exalted to heaven, will be thrust down to Hades. He who hears you, you, you hears me. He who rejects you, rejects me. He who rejects me, rejects him who sent me. Then the seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice, because your names are written in heaven. Glory be to God forever. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and God, amen. May the Lord bestow upon us his grace and his blessing, now and ever into the age of all ages. Amen. As we heard the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, which for us is a powerful reminder of the days in which we are living. It is the time in which we are celebrating and approaching the Feast of the Apostles. And so as you heard in this week and in the next, it's focused on the work which God has chosen for his people. As we heard last Thursday in the Gospel reading, do not fear, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. It is the chosen message of God for us, especially in this time, not to lose faith, not to be afraid, not to be anxious or worried. That God is with us and blessing us and bestowing upon us the great promise which he has for those whom he loves. The departure of a priest in the diocese to the kingdom for us is a powerful witness to the work that we all have. To hear the voice full of joy saying, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over what is little. <clears throat> You're faithful in much. Enter into the joy of your Lord. And he entered and rejoiced. And we have become orphans and wail. Our mothers are like widows as mentioned in the book of Lamentations. The Lord's promise, he says, I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. The blessing that we have in the ordination of a patriarch that the archdeacon makes an announcement in the very beginning. And it's very fitting for the, the departure of any priest, bishop, or servant of the Lord. He said, we have become orphaned and the holy church became a widow. This which he shepherded with his teachings. We entreat you the most high to guide us to whom would be worthy of the great priesthood, which he may shepherd us in the way of the Lord and guide us to the haven of salvation. The work, our work, is to pray unceasingly for the work of the Lord to be completed on this side of the kingdom. There is, as the Lord, when he was crucified, what the, the evangelist tells us, strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. Then I will turn my hand against the little ones. As the disciples met and witnessed when the Lord was crucified, each one went to his own place. And in fact, it was a very difficult time in their life, the most challenging time for them. The departure of any beloved one, we face the same, and for the priest, maybe even more so. But after a few days came the resurrection and many things changed. Even Thomas, who went so far, we don't know exactly where he went. And that's why by the time he came back, it was uh, after uh, when the Lord appeared to him on the Sunday. So it was the following Sunday, as we know in the gospel. But we have the example of the other disciples, or perhaps like St. John, who was at the cross, faithful, and did not move, was not afraid, was not angry or arguing, but was working quietly 
and comforting and saving. And that's why he had the promise to comfort the mother of the Lord and to serve uh, along with her for the remaining days of her life. He who does not gather scatters. And perhaps in the service we find this, especially in this time. Sometimes there are many opinions as to what should be done and how it should be done. This is the time to gather and to pray in one body and one spirit. Sometimes, even in the upper room, there were times where there was probably some anxiousness and some worry, but because they were gathered in prayer and in fasting and in meditation of the words and the promises of the Lord, that it became very clear until they had received the power from on high. We pray that God, as uh, the litany and the instruction of the archdeacon, we pray for God to send those servants who are worthy to serve here. As you heard the gospel today mentioned that the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. Pray that the Lord of the harvest to send out the Lord of the harvest, which is all of the kingdom, and the Lord is appointing those to serve in the kingdom. When it comes to the parish, we say the same, the Lord of the parish to send out the servants for the parish. In the Gospel of St. Matthew, the same verses are said. But before the Lord says this, the evangelist gives us a very powerful look at how God looks at his church. It says that when he saw the multitudes after he did many of the healings, it says he saw the multitudes and he was moved with compassion for them because they were weary and scattered like sheep having no shepherd. God, when he looks at us, he looks at each one to see how that he can provide the good shepherd that will gather the flock of God and lead us all into the, way, the kingdom. And that's why this gospel is chosen for the state and the patriarch uh, that we remember uh, today is the calling of the 70 or 72 apostles as, as uh, we see. About 19 years ago, the next month was the departure of the first priest in the diocese, one of the Niyad And this uh, was very sudden as with Abuna John. And at that time, it was very challenging for uh, all of us in the diocese. His eminence left everything as he did uh, in the last uh, week. And he stayed for several days to see how God will take care of his flock at his blessed hand. And as uh, he was guided to find the faithful shepherd, that he looked and he found uh, someone who was serving in this parish, Abuna Makarius. And one of the people, after uh, Sayyidina came to announce, he said, how our, uh, one father passes away, you can't replace them with another father. It doesn't work. And Sayyidina still to this day remembered. He said, I will prepare and I will search and find for someone. So he looked on the mountain high in Victorville, and he found a faithful priest who was serving a small congregation very faithfully and dil diligently. So he called him like Moses from the mountain and told him to serve in this blessed parish. And uh, with all eagerness and enthusiasm, uh, God had provided uh, for them. Also in Victorville, they said, what happened to us? Sayyidina said, I will send a priest, uh, one and a half priests, uh, His Grace Bishop Abraham and myself had the blessing to serve there. Uh, and I remember thinking, how can such uh, a faithful servant, even difficult place for people to live? Very challenging time. But with all diligence and eagerness, God sends and moves his servants, as you heard the gospel today with the apostles, he sent them out to all the ends of the earth. And he moves them for the sake of his flock, where his flock are, where the sheep are, he sends the shepherds. Until the time where the Lord says, well done, good and faithful servant. God will send the shepherd to continue the work, and we do not doubt. 
uh, about a year ago uh, when we were evaluating some of the services uh, and all of the services that we do uh, in, in the diocese, one of the people came to me and said, how come you find all of the servants from St. Justina, most of them? So I told them there's a few reasons. Uh, one of them uh, from St. Justina herself, she always chooses the best. There's not many churches in the world after her name. So she selects by the, very specifically the servants uh, for her people. And of course also uh, because of the beloved priests who are here, uh, Abuna John and Abuna Gorgios, who are serving very faithfully. And of course some of the servants who help us uh, to find those. This is the special blessing of the servant in the church that we see how God continues with us. Abuna uh, was the first to serve at this altar. And when there is an altar that is consecrated in the name of a church, the priest continues to serve in that altar and continues to serve the people. And you will witness, I'm sure, as you had b before, continue to see his service faithful to you and to those people, uh, not just in this church or even in this diocese. One time in the la last days of his life of Winnipeg Shoykama, the last day actually, one of the servants was with him at home. Uh, he was very sick, as you know, uh, in, in the last. And he told, after he was in and out of pain and in and out of consciousness, he told the servant next to him, there is, a serv there is one of the youth, I need to go and visit him. So he said, Abuna, you can't walk, you can't leave. He said, no, I have to visit him. So Abuna, after a while, he passed. In the time of the funeral, this youth that Abuna mentioned came to the funeral. So the servant saw him, he told him, Abuna was asking about you. He said, I know. He came to me in a dream, and uh, he led me to repentance and to the church. And this is not just with Abun Abshoi, but it's with those faithful servants who serve. They continue to serve their people. That's why you will continue to hear him in the sermons, see him in the liturgy, liturgical worship, and, and be guided by him in your confessions and in the service. This is a mystery of the priesthood that continues. And you, as the faithful children, will continue to witness and to declare Yes, we pray, even he prays for the future priest, as when we say the incense, and the priest is going around. One of the last times when he says, O Lord, houses of prayer, houses of purity, houses of blessing, grant them, O Lord, to your servants, to us and to your servants who shall come after us forever. He prays for all of the servants that are going to be serving in this altar until the end of time. And that's why <clears throat> the gift of the priesthood is to be at the feet of Christ as you uh, see when Christ is on the throne. In the book of Revelation, we have the 24 priests, which represent for us all the priesthood in the Old and New Testament. They take off their crowns, they throw it at the feet of the Lord, they offer the incense, and they are still, the priesthood in, is an everlasting priesthood like the Lord of hosts. So when we leave this life and we go to the heaven, we will see the priests offering the incense to the Lord. And he will be with them. He will say, this was my priest. And he, he will continue to offer prayers for us, and we also will continue to serve in, in all uh, purity and righteousness all the days of our life until we join him in the kingdom. Glory be to him now and ever into the age of all ages. Amen. Oh, no. 
Creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen, we believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead, according to his ascended into the heavens. He sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets and the one who is Catholic and Apostolic Church. We confess on baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Ah, 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 O God, the great, the eternal, who formed man in incorruption, and that which entered the world through the envy of the devil, you have destroyed by the love giving manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with the heavenly peace, by which the host of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and goodwill toward men. Great for perfect peace, love, and whole apostolic greeting. Lord, have mercy. to your good will, O God, fill our hearts with your peace. Cleanse us from all blemish, all guile, all hypocrisy, all craftiness, and the remembrance of vice bearing death. And make us all worthy, our master, to greet one another with a holy kiss, that without casting us into condemnation, we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Christi 
so men to kere Akseon ke di ke on Akseon ke di ke on Akseon ke di ke on Arithos garchen omes mi Akseon ke di ke on O you the being master Lord God of truth being before the ages and reigning forever who dwells in the hearts and looks upon the lowly, who has created the heaven, the earth, and the sea, and all that is therein, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, by whom you have created all things visible and invisible, who is seated upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. You are seated, stand before whom stand the angels, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the throne, the dominions, and the powers. Look towards the ends. You are he around whom stand the cherubim, full of eyes, and the seraphim with six wings, praising continuously without ceasing, saying, Let us the cherubim worship you, and the seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of, of hosts, heaven, formed us, created us, and placed us in the paradise of joy. When we disobeyed your commandment by the seed of the serpent, we fell from eternal life. We're exiled from the paradise of joy. Emben kan en so kon shae bo na lang emben chin e khen o mo ne gun e ten ne ke pro salvation he granted us the birth from on high through water and spirit he made us unto himself and assembled people sanctified us by your holy spirit he loved his own who were in the world as a ransom on our behalf gave himself up unto death which reigned over us whereby we were bound and sold on account of our sins he descended into Hades through the cross. Amen. I believe. Anton Fibu. According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. <laughs> 
Eftens Charen Kedim Och Haba Onchen Bikos Mok Elitos Peste from the dead, his ascension into the heavens, his sitting at your right hand, O Father, and a second coming from the heavens, awesome and full of glory. We offer unto your gifts from what is yours for everything, and turning everything out in everything. Yes, good Lord, sinful and worthy, so it's pushed by the pleasure of goodness for the Spirit to send upon it. All these gifts that can bless themselves. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, 
we worship you So man forever and of sin and eternal life to those partake of it. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Because the Lord have mercy to partake of your holiness unto the purification of our souls, bodies, and spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit and may have a share and inherit us with all the sins that please us in the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one only holy Catholic and apostolic church. Lord, have mercy. This which acquired yourself with the precious blood of your Christ, keep her in peace and with all the Orthodox bishops who are on here. For most remember, O Lord, our blessed and our Father, the Archbishop, our Patriarch of the II, and his spiritual brethren, the Patriarch of Antioch, Mary Ignatius from the II, and his partners in the apostolic liturgy, our Father, the Metropolitan Ambassador, and our Father, the Bishop, Ava Kirinus. Lord, have mercy. And those who rightly handle the word of truth with him, Grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock and peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox segments, priests, and deacons. Lord, have mercy. And all the servants and all who are in virginity and the purity of your faithful people. Remember, O Lord, have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us all, God the Father, the Upon to Christ. Remember, O Lord, the salvation of this holy place and every place and every monastery of our Orthodox Fathers. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell in God's face, gracious accord the Lord to bless the air of the heaven. The fruits of the earth, the waters of the river, the seeds, the herbs, and the plants of the field this year. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Raise them to their measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth, means far be abundantly waters, fruits be plentiful. Prepare for sowing and harvesting, manage our life as deem fit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the travel, the stranger, and for the sake of all of us who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes, everyone who attempt upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, O you who give food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, that we too have sufficiency in everything always may abound. In every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, oh Lord, those who brought unto you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly Lord, have mercy. Pity of Joe Souls and a painted pick more no again. He sent she a serene urge, we are a pair of maybe intended to have and talk a recotax in a choice. And take care of me, and it's up to your top, Ronaki Sijin. 
Ni patriarchis, ni profetis, ni apostolos, ni refeos, ni evangelis, ni ni martyros, ni mologetis, ni mani venenet mi et abgoke volgenevna. Ati, en ho, o zetis, o abet mehen, o et o emparsenus, en senyo nivin, ti te o tu kuses, o abti a, a gya mare, e, e, Sehet <laughs> Agius Petrus here, Marti, Eros, P. Archie, Eris, Nebiagus Hannes Pichus Thomas, Nebagus Tudus Jus, Nebagus Daphilus, Nebagus Demetrius, Nebagus Kirillus, Nebagus Basilius, Nebagus Rorius Pietulus, Nebagus Rorius Petamatros, Nebia, Agius Eri, Rori, Eus, P. Armenius. Nempishum teshimetish mean et up to an again, nepishitiv in to Constantinopolis, nepesnafshi in Tephesus, nempinio tendicius pinisti of Antonius, nempit me of a public, nempishum tetwap of a macari, nemnashiriti, and a snuffle of fools, nempinio tabayanus pigumenus, nempinio tabisho, piet me peromentilius, p menrit and tepensutier in a. Uh, our father, Paul of Tamo and Zekel, his disciple, my lord, the Roman father, Saint Maximus and the Medius, the four nine martyrs, the elders of the Shahid, the strong son of Moses, Jean Cam, the priest. Our father, but Daniel, the document, our father, is the priest. Our father, Bachum of the Cunha, Theodore, his disciple. Our father, Vashun, the Darshim, and Wright, and Avawisa, his disciple. And all the choir of your saints, through whose prayer. Praise and supplications have mercy on us and save us for the sake of your name, which is good upon us. Be with us, Amen. Glory to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have, have mercy. names we have mentioned those we have not mentioned those each one of them who had in our mind and those who are not in our mind who have fallen asleep and repose in the faith of christ graciously repose the souls of your servants abu najan michaim josephine moros graciously repose all their souls in the bosom of our holy fathers abraham isaac and jacob Sustain them in green pastures besides the waters in the paradise of joy. The place out of which grief, sorrow, and groaning have fled away in the light of your saints. Lord, have mercy. Whose souls you have taken, repose them in the paradise of 
joy in the region of the living forever in the heavenly Jerusalem in the end please and we too who are sojourners in this place keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end as it was and shall be it is from generation to generation and unto the ages of all ages Amen. Lead us out throughout the way into your kingdom that as in this so in all things your great and holy name may be glorified, blessed, and exalted. In everything honored and blessed with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit. Again, let us give thanks to God, the one Creator, the Father, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he has made us worthy now to stand in this holy place, to lift up our hands and to serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy in the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mystery. Amen. The Holy Body. We worship your Holy Body. And the precious blood and your precious blood and the various toasts and Jimmy Bondo Crato showing seven naughty. Unsearchable are your judgments and your ways past finding out. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so also are your thoughts higher than the sons of men. Lo, you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and have revealed them to the little children. Yes, O Father, this is the good pleasure before you. You have chosen what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. You have chosen what is weak in the world to shame the strong. You have chosen Peter, who was a fisherman, and have made him into a fisher man. son, Lord, have mercy. Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. This is he who, when you asked your holy disciples, saying, Who do men say that I am? He proclaimed, saying, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Lord, have mercy. Bless 
Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father was in the heaven. Simon Peter, who had denied you before the servant girl, did confess you before kings and rulers. Likewise, also Paul was formerly a blasphemer and a persecutor, persecuting the church of God, exceedingly to destroy it. You made him a chosen vessel for yourself, bearing your holy name before the Gentiles and the kings of the sons of Israel. <laughs> Have mercy. When he was going to Damascus to bind the Christians and torture them, suddenly a light shined from upon him from heaven, and he heard a voice saying to him, So, so, why are you persecuting me? It is a hard thing for you to kick against the goal. Lord, have mercy. All the tongue of incense he has preached the gospel to the Gentiles, establishing the churches for them and confirming them in the upright faith. Finally, when your two apostles, Peter and Paul, had fought the good fight and finished their race, you granted them the things which an eye has not seen nor ear heard, neither have come upon the heart of man. Behold, Peter was martyred, crucified upside down with his head below, and Paul by the edge of the sword, and they received the crown of apostleship and of martyrdom. O God, who grant in his apostles these many graces, grant us who are sinners the forgiveness of our sins, our trespasses, and our iniquities, that we may call upon you in thanksgiving, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ, Jesus, our Lord. Remember, O Lord, our assemblies, bless them. Amen, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Aniati, sangis, flogitons, kirios, iso, Christo, e teo, agasmos, emnemon, yunami. Iso, penegios, petir, iso, penegios, eos, endo, penegion, ebnevoma, Amen. The holy morning, the precious
precious and true blood, Jesus Christ, Son of our God. Amen. 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 I believe, I believe, I believe, and confess that the last breath is a life giving flesh, your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, took from our Lady, the Lady of our soul, only Theotokos, Saint Mary, made it one with his divinity, without mingling, without confusion, without alteration. That's the good confession before Pontius Pilate, he gave it up for us upon the only wood of the cross, his own will for us all. Truly, I believe that his divinity pardoned on from his humanity, for a single moment or twinkling of an eye, given for us for salvation, remission of sins, eternal life to those partake of him, I believe, I believe, I believe, and this is true. Amen. For all times. Amen. Oh, glory. I believe that this is true, I mean, pray for us and for all Christians who said to us concerning them, remember us in the house of the Lord, the peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you, sing alleluia, pray for the worthy parsing of the immaculate heavenly and holy mysteries, Lord Amen. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit is more 
داشتی اسم و
Grant them to think and live what is pertaining to living to understand things that are yours, Sir Omni God, Son of Lord God, and Savior Jesus Christ, sent to me and all the people cry out, saying, Have mercy upon us, O God, our Savior. I mean, I mean, Angel of the sacrifice, find the highest with the same remembrance before the Lord that he may have mercy give us our sins. Let us praise so with the angels saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and goodwill toward men. Amen. Alleluia. Doxa Petri. Sit in my 
Make us, O Lord, worthy to pray with all thanksgiving. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever. Amen. Now may the love of God the Father, the grace only God, the Son of God, and Savior Jesus Christ, commune and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Be with you those who should go in peace. Peaceful Lord be with you. And with your spirit.